In this PowerPoint, we're going to be looking at holes and hole notes. We'll be looking soon after this how to make holes using the AutoCAD Inventor 13. But right now, we're going to be learning how to annotate holes on your IDW drawing files. So here we have some definitions of various types of holes. And if you look here, you'll see that we have, this is the top view of the holes. And here is a section view of what those holes look like when you cut through it. You can see the A here. There's, it's a section view. And this would be what the holes look like from the side. So the first type is a through hole. Now you'll notice that these through holes, they go all the way through the part. They go all the way down through. Now these two hole, through holes have different types of, uh, well, what would you call it? <laughs> the top of the hole. This one, this through hole is simply a hole. And you can see you'd make that by just taking a drill and drilling it right through the part. This hole has a little extra feature and we'll see what that is in a second. Through hole, when the hole goes all the way through the part. Next, we have a clearance hole. Now, a clearance hole is a through hole, but it's also a hole that allows room for a screw head or even for the screwdriver to fit through it. A clearance hole is a hole where you allow extra space for whatever's going to fit inside there. It is a through hole, but it's also called a clearance hole, a special kind of a through hole. A blind hole is a hole that does not go all the way through the part. So you look up here on the top, and you can see that there's a hole there. But if you were to look at the bottom of this part, it would not go all the way through. Okay, that's a blind hole. A countersink hole is a hole that has a conical shaped recess at the surface of the hole. Here is the conical shape. You can see it right here. Here's the conical shape. And on the top view here it's just a, it shows up as a circle but you can clearly see that it's got this this angled surface to it it's called a countersink and typically a countersink hole has a tapered screw that goes into it and a, a tapered screw would be like a drywall screw or a wood screw uh, or some kind of a machine screw that has a that has a place for uh, a screwdriver or an Allen key. Those are the types of tools that you would use to screw those in. The next is called a counter bore. Very similar to a counter sink, except for a counter bore has simply a cylindrical recess. In other words, it's just a hole that's bigger than the hole where the screw's going. So that's called a counter bore. And it says your it often is used to receive a bolt head or a nut. And there are, there are bolts that are made that have heads that look just like this. And then we have a tape, a, a tapped hole. A tapped hole is a hole that has threads on it. And that's the kind of a, a hole where you would, um, that would be ready to receive a bolt. So a tapped hole. Now, these are the common symbols that you'll see when you're annotating a hole on your IDW drawings. Diameter symbol just a circle with a line through it, the Greek letter phi. This is the diameter symbol. Counter bore, you can see it kind of looks like the counter bore where it just goes down straight. And this would be, uh, this, this is, would be a, a note that you would tell the person making the part, hey, this hole has a counter bore on it. Counter sink looks like the counter sink. And this symbol means depth. And it's how far down the hole goes. Now, if you have a through hole, you wouldn't be using this symbol. This would only be used for blind holes. Now, here are some whole notes that we can take a look at. So this first one here, we can see that if we're, we're pointing to this hole right here, we're pointing to this hole, and we're saying, okay, it has a diameter of 0.25, and typically you won't see the unit after that because on somewhere on the drawing it will tell you this all the units on this drawing are in inches or all the units on this drawing are in centimeters unless otherwise noted. And usually it's not otherwise noted. Normally, all the dimensions are the same on the drawing. So you'll notice there's no, there's no indicator here of what the dimension is. But let's just assume that this is in inches. So this would be, and actually right here it tells us that it's in inches. So this is a, 25 point, a 0.25 diameter hole that's going down into 
the part 0.75. Okay? It also tells us, because we need that, obviously there's something else here besides just a hole. It tells us it's a counter bore. And it tells us the diameter of the counter bore and how deep the counter bore goes. So look very closely at this, at this hole note. The diameter of the hole, how far down it goes, the fact that it's a counter bored hole, and this is the diameter of the counter bore, which will always be bigger than the hole itself, and how far down the counter bore goes. Okay, does that make sense? Next we have a, um, the, the, the annotation for a blind hole. So here we have a hole that has a diameter of 0.38, and it goes down half an inch, 0.5. Here we have a hole that is 0.38 diameter through. So you'll notice you don't use the depth indicator when you have a through hole or a hole going all the way through the part. Now, here, this is the countersink symbol right here. So it tells us that this hole has a diameter of 0.5 through. So that would, that would indicate that this hole is 0.5 all the way through the part. And it has a countersink that has a diameter of one inch at 82 degrees. Now, remember, the countersink has an, a, a tapered angle, and it tells you that angle is 82 degrees. Different types of screws, different types of bolts that are countersunk will have various uh, and differing angles. Now, we also have to indicate that, there, that the hole is threaded. Now, we'll see here, if you can see clearly a threaded hole has, it has a hole that is a circle, and then it has these dotted lines that go around it. That shows the thread that's inside the hole. So if we look up here, we can see that we have a, a standard way of, of dealing with these holes. Let's go to the next slide. If we go back, this was the Unified National Thread Note. If we come, this is the ISO thread note. ISO is the international standard, and you can see that it's metric. So it's a little bit different. Metric, it gives you the diameter. Um, in this case, it's a 12. The pitch of the threads, 1.5. And then it goes on here to give you information about the thread. We typically are not going to use any metric threads in this class. We'll always be using the, the, uh, the English system.